Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for this painting tutorial. This is a full length step by step in acrylic. I'm going to show you all how to paint this landscape on an 11 by 14 canvas and I've got quite a few colors here on my palette. I'll be adding a list below this video in the description box as well but let's just go over them uh, right now and I've got neon pink to start, neon yellow, phthalo blue, green turquoise, light blue violet, titanium white, light olive green, sap green, and Mars black. I'm just going to start off by taking my little water bottle here, setting it to fine mist, and wetting the canvas down. The next thing I'm going to do is take my number 20 flat brush, and I'm going to start adding random colors in random places on the canvas. I'm painting um, just intuitively on the spot right now. I've got a lot of leftover paint. As you can see, I've used my palette already, um, but I have lots of leftover paint. So uh, it's always really fun to just make something up on the spot and take you guys along with me. I'm going to start off with yellow, I think. I'll just take a scoop of yellow here and I'll just start adding it right here. Then maybe some pink. A little bit more yellow. That mixing with the pink will make a nice bright orange. I'll wash my brush out. And I'll take some light blue violet. I'll add it right here. I've been doing a lot of um, monochromatic paintings lately, a lot of black and whites. So it's really fun to change it up and get back into using all my fun bright colors again. And take some turquoise green and I think I'll just add it right in here. And then finally some phthalo blue. And I'll put it right along the bottom. I'll take a little bit of white and just add that right there. Okay, now I'm going to take a mop brush and I'm, it's dry and I think I'm just going to soften all the lines and kind of just give this a smoother blended look. I'm cutting up here, even though I've got a little bit of blue and turquoise, I'm going to come over part of the edge here and add a little bit of that while blending out my yellow and pink that I used to make this orange. Okay, so now I have to decide what my next step will be. And I think before anything, I might just dry this off completely. Here, this one here. Number 14 filbert brush. I'm going to get it just a little bit wet. And I'm going to add a little bit of white and a little bit of turquoise. And start making some fluffy clouds, just layering over little arches like this or little half circles.
Notice I'm bringing it over part of the pink, part of the blue, and the purple. You want to add a little bit more white with your turquoise when applying it over the darker colors, like the blue and the purple. It'll just show up a lot better. Okay, then I'm going to take some white and blue violet. And I'm going to continue by adding some larger ones here. Some one in the center and then line it up. Come out. Continue. A little bit more white. Acrylic paint will dry darker. This will make it glow. And make them smaller and smaller. I'm going to take a little bit more of that blue violet and just go over this area here. Then I'm going to add a little bit up in here as well. So three scoops, one, two, three, and then just make some smaller ones. Add a little bit more paint, a little bit more white. Take a little bit more white, a little bit of water, and let's come down here and add some waterfalls. So just wiggle, wiggle with a tip on an angle, pull and drop. And add just a little bit of pink. To my white and my blue and I'm going to add it in this section here slightly overlapping on my yellow and then my orange will give us more of a soft lavender shade And I'm going to mix up a little bit of Mars Black, Sap Green, and Light Olive Green. And I'm going to start coming in here and just pulling my brush side to side. And then stop right about there. Add a little bit of water to my brush. Mix out that paint again. And I'm going to continue going up here. Making it smaller and then just stop and disappear. Around that corner. Adding more and more green. Pushing a little bit harder right here. And 
I'm going to start to leave a space and then make steps here. I'm going to take a little bit more black on the tip of my brush. And just add a line. Right down at the bottom of each step. Our steps will become more visible as we start to add some highlights with some soft green. But the idea is to have them thicker, bigger here, and then have them start to get smaller and smaller and smaller. I took a few minutes to dry this off and I'm going to come back in now with some highlights to add some light on my stairway and uh, just make it stand out uh, a little bit better overall. I'll take some light olive green, some neon yellow, a, a, just a little bit of white there, just a touch of white. Again, light olive green neon yellow and a little bit of white so we'll start down here adding it to the top of the step i'll mix up some more paint And then shorter, shorter, and shorter. I'm just going to bring this up a little bit higher and make some of these stairs a little bit thicker. I'm just going to add a little bit of a scumble here. Hardly any paint on my brush, just turning my brush over like this flat and adding little circles. I'm gonna add a little bit extra white and light green to the end of my brush. And then some more light at the top there. I'll rinse my brush out again. I'm going to take one of my mop brushes. It's dry. This is just a one inch round mop brush. You can use any stippler you want for this step. And I'm going to add some 
sap green, a little bit of black, a little bit of that light olive green. Just a little bit like that. And I'm going to start down here on the left side of the stairs. I'm going to go partially over each of the stairs. And then when I come in here, I'm going to bring it in more over the stairs and then up and then have it just kind of disappear. And then we'll make them a little bit bigger down here closest to us. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is take my phthalo blue with a dirty brush. I still have those colors in my brush. And I'm gonna come over here on this side and start adding just a little bit to this side as well. And a little pull and drop. I'm gonna take a little bit of white. Mix that up. And add a little highlight. Add a little bit of turquoise. I haven't rinsed my brush out yet. Turquoise, sap green, white, and phthalo blue. And I'm going to start adding a little bit in here. And then a little bit going up there. Now with the rest of my brush, I'm going to pull, tap, 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 pull. I'm going to spray the top of my canvas with some water. Get a little bit more paint on there. and create some hanging vines. I'll rinse that brush out. And I'll go over to my number three round brush. And I'll take a little bit of turquoise, phthalo blue, both greens. I've got all the colors on my brush, not blended. And I'm just going to push, push, push. Just to add a few little leaves. And then make them smaller and smaller.
And sometimes I'm being more precise, like here, I'll gently push, wiggle, then let off, twist. Push, wiggle, let off, twist. And then I'm gonna start to get a little looser and a little bit quicker and kind of messier. That way I have more of a natural look where not everything's in full focus. Some things you can make out, some of these shapes you can make out as leaves and then other ones just kind of get blended and mixed in with um, And then you can add a little wiggle and squiggle here and there. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of white and pink. Make this really soft bubblegum pink shade. You know, I'm going to lighten that even more. It's a little bit darker than what I'm going for. So adding more white. And then gentle blending. I know it sounds like I'm pushing really hard just because I have a a really good mic <laughs> my camera here but being very gentle I'm going to use my number 14 filbert brush again. I'm going to take a little bit of a little bit of white, add it in the center of the yellow, and then bring it out and over part of that yellow just to get rid of the really intense solid yellow that we have there. I like to just soften that with a bit of white. It still will dry a little bit darker than what you see here, but I think it'll just be the right amount of warm light that I want for this painting. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just bring in a little bit of uh, foliage here. I don't want anything too, too dark or bold because we have that going on here in the foreground and in our vines already. So we want to just add a little bit of something right in here. Just on this side, kind of cascading down. Okay, then I'm gonna take a little mop brush, it's dry. I'll take some white, a little bit of light olive green just a tiny bit of paint like this. You always need less paint than what you think you need, especially when you're just starting out. And then I'm just gonna start tapping. A little over. And then just a little hint of it in there with a clean brush. It's got just a little bit of water in it, but it's not dripping. It's just enough that I can pull and blend a little bit more of this out. Now with a little flat brush, I'm going to take my phthalo blue with a little bit of turquoise and I'm going to come in here and add a little moon. I'll go into my 
light blue violet. Add a little bit of that. Then I'm going to take some white and I'm going to come back where we started our waterfall. And bring it down over part of the moon. I'm going to use the rest of my white. and catch the edge of the moon. And then bring the moon up in front of the waterfall. And there's a little bit of phthalo blue and neon pink to make purple. And go underneath. I'm going to add a little pathway and ledge that comes out here. I'll add a little bit more paint, blue and pink again. Add a little bit of light blue violet and a little bit of white. And now I'm going to pull and drop down. some of that blue and the purple. With a clean, small, flat brush, I'm going to take white, no water, just white paint only on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to come right in here, wiggle, pull, and drop. Come from this side. Add a few more levels to my waterfall. See how it's just pouring and spilling over. Spilling out of the moon. I'm going to use a filbert brush and I'm going to add my greens 
and the blue together. Again, point, flat wiggle, let off. Add a little bit of black this time. I just go over these top ones and make them a little bit bigger. So we gradually go down in size as they become little trailing vines down at the base. And that's got a little bit too much black in it, so I'm going to go back to my greens and blue, go inside of it, twist and let off. I'm going to take one of my small dry mop brushes and add a little bit of light in here. Um, so a little bit of blue violet, a little bit of white, a little bit of that phthalo blue so we can pick up where we left off. And then Increase the amount of white that we add as we get up here and it trails off around the corner. We can add a little bit to this side too um, and just start adding some turquoise with those blues. Just remember to add a little bit of sap green now. Make them a little bit thicker and bushier looking by adding a little bit more pressure when applying. I'm going to tap in a little bit sort of trailing down here. And then I think I'll just leave this spot here to add my signature. in here with my number three round brush.
taking blue, black, sap green. I'm going to come along the bottom here and just pull this over a little bit. I want it to still be a little bit kind of blurry and mysterious, so I'll just pull a little bit over. And see how it kind of goes down just a little bit right here. I'm just going to take the edge off right there. Take it up a little higher. And balance that out. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Feel free to leave a comment or question below if you have one. I'll have links below this video for my Patreon, um, my brushes you could purchase, and my YouTube channel here where you'll find well over 800 tutorials, all different um, types of paintings and categories to choose from. Have fun learning to paint with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!